to my channel so I am so excited about today's video because it is the what I got for Christmas video it's not so much a haul as it is just I'm showing you guys what I got for Christmas and I always like watching these videos every single year and I figured this year that I'd make one for myself again this is not to say that I'm bragging or anything like that um, my parents definitely give us nice things for Christmas um, and I'm very very thankful for that but if this is in no way being trying to brag or anything like that you know I just wanted to put that disclosure out there before I got started first things first I'm just gonna kind of explain the way that my family does Christmas so on Christmas Eve we go to Christmas Mass and then we go home and we eat dinner and we open presents that are given to each other by our families so my brothers since I have two brothers and my parents and my grandma was here this year we will all open eat presents from each other my parents don't get us anything because all of their presents are the next morning obviously so it's mainly like a gift exchange between me and my brothers and this year my brothers did a very very good job they knew exactly what to get me and I absolutely love the presents so I'm gonna start with my oldest brother and he got me a gift card to Sephora it's just one of the printed ones on a gift sheet but it's just a gift card to Sephora and obviously I love Sephora <laughs> so this is definitely gonna come in handy in the year to come and I'm so excited to use it I probably like already know what I'm gonna use it for so there's that um, <laughs> but I absolutely love it so thank you Ryan if you're watching this I really love this gift card so and then next from my littlest brother he is just like he kind of amazes me sometimes with the gifts he gets especially for the women in his life and he doesn't have a girlfriend or anything right now but he always gives really really nice presents for us girls like he gets us really nice jewelry I'm like Jeff why don't you have a girlfriend <laughs> so he got me this year came in this little bag he just got me some really pretty crystal earrings they're just nice studs so really cute little crystal studs I don't actually have a pair of just regular like diamond crystal studs so I'm really excited about that and then the other thing that came in this little baggie was this really pretty just simple silver chained pendant with a nice little crystal pendant at the end it's super small super dainty but I'm really into these things right now just like the really small dainty jewelry and I absolutely love this especially since it's silver because I have a ton of gold items but not a ton of silver so I'm really excited to keep wearing this I've already worn it like every single day since I've gotten it so thank you Jeff I absolutely love this and then the next big present that was such a shock to me and my oldest brother my little brother got us a joint gift and it was actually the original Xbox <laughs> now some of you are probably like okay that was out like eons ago and the graphics and stuff on that are so terrible I know if you guys like aren't super into video games or anything like that this won't really mean much to you but when I was little since I grew up with two brothers I just was gonna be exposed to sports and to video games and stuff like that like it was inevitable and so one year for Christmas we got the Xbox and that was probably like the best gaming system ever it had some of the best games that just were like huge parts of our childhood that we just remember playing and loving and like playing together and so he actually tracked down an old Xbox and like a bunch of the games that we used to play and it was in this huge box and I was like Jeff what in the world is in this box but Ryan and I opened it together and we were just so shocked and just like overwhelmed it was probably the best present ever <laughs> it was probably even more exciting than the original time that we got the Xbox because it was just awesome to turn that on and like relive those memories for the past two days because we opened that on Christmas Eve and so we played that all Christmas Eve night and then when we woke up after we opened presents from Santa we played that some more basically all throughout the day and this is just so much fun like whenever I go back home and my brothers are home we're just gonna I know we're gonna go upstairs and like play Xbox and it's just gonna be so much fun to kind of like relive when we were younger and we used to play video games together so that was really really cool present so thank you Jeff that was so thoughtful if you are watching and I absolutely loved that 
So next, after Christmas Eve is over, we all go to bed, and then when we wake up, whoever is first to wake up wakes everyone up, else up, and then we go downstairs and we open presents from Santa. So Santa did a very good job this year. He got me every single thing that I wanted and more. I really did not deserve all of this th these things, but all the things that I really, really wanted this year, he got for me, and so I'm really, really excited and thankful for that. First things first, what he got me was this Vineyard Vines just pull over in navy and I, as you can probably tell, I'm kind of a preppy person, like I have my monogram in the background. And so I never have really owned things from Vineyard Vines just because it's kind of expensive and you know, I just never felt like the price was worth kind of what I would pay. But you know, when you're getting something as a gift, you're always like, absolutely. Like I love Vineyard Vines as a brand, I've just never bought it for myself. And navy, A is my favorite color pretty much ever to wear. I just really enjoy it. And it's got some pink embroidery and it's so cute. It's got a little whale on the collar, but it's just this really cute pullover, half zip, Yeah. It's like this one fourth zip jacket and it's super warm and cozy and I just know it's going to be like a staple in my like casual everyday wardrobe. So I'm really excited about that so thank you Santa for this. And the next thing I got was actually something that I knew that I was going to get like for sure because as you guys probably know back in November my mom and I went up to New York City to do some shopping before I started my job in the middle of November yeah it's been like a month now so we went up there to do some shopping and we went to J Crew and we bought a lot of stuff from there and so my mom was like okay pick one item I'm gonna make that one of your Christmas presents and since I knew that it wasn't gonna get cold very soon since it was 70 degrees on Christmas it was actually like closer to 80 which was insane and ridiculous and I'm actually kind of annoyed with it but whatever so I knew it was going to get cold in the next month or so. So I was like, okay, you can take this, you can put that away. I won't need it until end of December, probably January time. And so it's this really, really pretty, I'm absolutely in love with this, uh, nude puffer jacket from J. Crew. It's just absolutely gorgeous and beautiful and preppy. And it's just like such a beautiful jacket. I'm absolutely obsessed. So I don't know if you can get a good look at this, I'll zip it up. So this is it zipped up, it's just a really pretty nude color and it's more like a khaki. I just, I love the detailing, the gold detailing, how like warm and like, it's not fuzzy per se but it's definitely like it's a puffer so it's going to keep you nice and warm and I just think this is probably one of the cutest things ever and I'm so excited to wear this more and especially when it gets colder whenever that may be but I absolutely love this jacket and so I'm so glad that Santa saved it for me for my new York trip and put it under the tree for me for Christmas so and the next thing is something that I've been asking for for ever and it's something that I'm so excited I would have never really bought with my own money. I think eventually I may have, but it's just a kind of a more expensive item. But I just didn't ever feel like spending the money on this item. And so Christmas is always kind of like a good time for me to ask for those things because I know that, you know, we're always going to get a couple if like one or two bigger items that, you know, we wouldn't really purchase for ourselves. And this is one of these items. And it is the Claire Sonic. So I got this one, which is I forget what the name is but it's the white one and it has um, some red lettering on it and this is just what it looks like. So it's got these people in the heart. I think it's for HIV AIDS, um, raising money for that. But anyway, so I got this one. I think it's super cute and yeah, it's just the Mia 2 I believe. Yeah, it's the Mia 2 and it just, this is it. And this is the little baggy. it kind of came in. I think it's super cute. I like the color a lot and how it's got this little embroidery. And I used it last night for the first time and I love it, oh my gosh. I knew that I would and I knew that I just needed to go and spend the money on it. But I'm very thankful that Sienna decided to do that for me so I wouldn't have to spend my own money on it. But I'm so excited about this. It's such like a silly little thing but I'm, ridiculously pumped to continue using this and to see how much better it's gonna make my skin and how it's gonna just 
rub away all of the dirt and oil and all of that stuff. So super excited. So this was one of my bigger presents from Santa this year. Okay, and so now we've kind of come to the last and final gift that I received this year. And this is something that has been just a long time coming. <laughs> So I'm going to show you this before I kind of explain why I was so excited, like more excited than normal to get this item, but it is the iPhone 6S. And yes, it has a life proof case on it already. So I got this one, I actually got the rose gold uh, one, which I was really excited to get the rose gold. I think that one's really pretty, but I get these every two years right because you have the upgrade and stuff like that and the first phone I ever got was the iPhone 4 and then two years later I got the 5s and then two years later I got this one so about four years ago I got the iPhone 4 right back when it was out and so I used it for the two years it was fine absolutely perfect but then I got the 5s two Christmases ago and you know I started using that obviously because that was the newer version so not even a year later back in football season <laughs> I was at a tailgate and I had my phone in my hand and I was standing on some gravel and as you guys can probably conclude from where the story is going I dropped my phone and it shattered into like a million and a half pieces. I was just so annoyed and so upset. And so I tried to live with a broken iPhone for a while, but it ended up getting so bad. I dropped it like maybe one or two more times. Whoops. That <laughs> it just became unusable. And I know it was something that if I had just fixed the screen, it probably would have been fine. But I was not really in a position to spend like a hundred plus dollars on a new screen I just was not about that life and I had a perfectly good old iPhone that was completely fine nothing wrong with it it just was old and I just you know I got the new version so I restarted my old one I switched back to my 4 and I've had that ever since and it's just it was the slowest thing I think just because it was so old and I've used it so much and it's last way longer than they normally are supposed to be used for I mean Props to that, it's like sitting over there in case something happens with this one, which like, praise God, I hope not. This is why I got the life proof case on it. I got the life proof case for Christmas as well because clearly I need help with saving my phones. That was such a really reliable phone, the four, but it just got to be so old and it was running so slowly and apps would just shut down on it. It was just, it was time. And if I told Santa that if I were to get nothing else for Christmas, nothing else, I'd be fine. I just want a new phone and I got a new phone. So this was a very, very exciting present for me and I'm ridiculously pumped that I got it. And so now I am back into the world and with fast working phones and it's just life is grand. So, <laughs> so that was kind of it for all of my big presents. And then after we're done with presents, we always have stockings that we open last. And this is my stocking. I think it's super cute. And in it, we just have one of these. <laughs> I forget what these are called. It says a mesh sponge. What's a mesh sponge in the shower called? Yeah, it's called a loofah. God bless this thing. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so first things first in this stocking that I got was a loofah. <laughs> and it's actually something I'm sure my mom or Santa, sorry. I'm sure that whoever gave me this did not think that I needed it, but I've actually been like wanting one of these for a very long time. I just have never bought one and you can buy one at like the dollar store. So it's not like they're expensive or anything like that, but I just have never gotten around to buying one. And so I'm really excited about this. I can't even begin to tell you how excited I was to open this. So <laughs> I got this in my stocking and then I'll just kind of dump everything else out. So yeah. So one of the other things that, that are really big items in our stocking are gift cards because those are super easy to just drop in there. So we always get a couple gift cards in there and one of the ones that I'm excited about is an iTunes gift card. I can buy ringtones, I can buy music, I can buy, I mainly use it to buy movies so I can watch it on my Apple TV. So 
got an iTunes gift card and I also got a BP gas gift card because who doesn't as an adult love gas gift cards? Because who likes to buy gas? No one, right? And then I also got some nail files because I always need a good nail file and some Tic Tacs. These are the candy cane version and actually like a cool little tip trick thing that I absolutely love to use when I am done using Tic Tacs is I like to use the container for bobby pins. It's a great place to store them so that they're not like jiggling around at the bottom of your bag and they all stay in one place and you can kind of like get them out. I have one already in my purse to use for bobby pins and so if you guys didn't know that that's one of my favorite ways to store those. And then also at the bottom we have a plethora of some Hershey Kisses and other chocolate candy. That does it. That is all I got for Christmas. I am so excited about all of the things that I got this Christmas. I am very, very grateful. And my brothers did such a good job and I'm just so excited that my whole family was able to be there. Like my grandma was there and she got to celebrate with us and it was the first time since she's moved down here that she's really gotten to like kind of celebrate Christmas with us because last year she went back up north to visit the rest of our family and so it was just nice to kind of hang out with my family for a little while because it's really hard to get us all together since we have really really busy schedules and lives and you know I, I think that's what Christmas and the holidays are just all about is just coming together and making sure your family is together and spending time together and that's really what I'm most thankful for this year. I'm thankful that I live close enough that I can go home on a regular basis but I know there's many people out there who live kind of far away and the holiday time this is really the only time that they have either enough time off or whatever that they can go home. And that's it. So I hope you guys had a very happy Merry Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you have a happy holiday season and just, you know, got a chance to spend time with family and friends and just really enjoyed your family and friends company. So I would love to see what you guys got for Christmas if you celebrate Christmas or whatever holiday. If you would like to leave down in the comments below what your favorite gift was or if you did one of these videos, I'd love to see it and watch it because I always like watching these videos. Thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. I will have an annotation right here and also at the end if you would like to subscribe. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of 2015 and have a great start to 2016. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.